just have to don't know whose hand was up was it yours i think yeah namaskar namaskar my question is about tapas if you can say more about what is tapas and how can i build it inside myself because when you speak with a Eliza, I think, Eliza. Um, it was a time you say the word tapas and suddenly I... Sh- <laughs> suddenly I land. Um, sometimes I feel hard for me to, to stay in present, like the sana shakti. Um, and when you say tapas, I feel... Okay. How, how can I... build the tapas and what is tapas. So when there is in a seeker that deep yearning to know the truth, to touch the truth with your fingertips, to, to know the truth, you know, that is what seekers actually are looking for. You know, people sitting in a satsang like this are not sitting here because They want to know how to improve their skin, you know. They just want to know the truth. Some of them are sitting for years in satsangs, looking everywhere, where is it, where is it, want to touch it, want to feel it, want to experience it. That yearning, when it overtakes the system, fuels the, the readiness for tapas. Tapas is what the system is ready to do to know the truth. And tapas shakti is what the system builds up, the strength it builds up. As it is undertaking what it is meant to undertake to know the truth. So, let's say in this teaching, the practice is as much as possible to be really present. That's the tapas. That is the tapas. And the more present you are, the more tapas shakti you have. We speak about jathar agni, which is the, the fire held here, you know. That fire is born out of the practice and the power that comes from practice. If you are really here in this moment, this is the practice here, presentness, being, being in surrender, samarpan, samarpan to the soul, the more you are in that state of surrender to the soul, the more, the more tapas you are doing. The more tapas you are doing, the more tapas shakti you have, meaning the power of tapas. And that tapas shakti translates into the jathar agni, which is the fire, the agni, the, the, the energy and the fire that is at your disposal for anything you want to do. It's a very powerful thing. The more you are in this, in this practice, that's your tapas, every day, every day, every day. If you have a guru, the outer guru reminds you of the inner guru. So you keep the guru in your in your thinking and you always know that that guru is the mirror of this one inside you. So you are in that communication. Then gradually this system starts to strengthen and you grow that, that strength and that force to actually, to actually live this life in thisness as it is meant to be lived. So your practice, your tapas is the practice you have learned here, if you want to take this up as your tapas. Yeah, I want, sometimes like, I, I'm just a beginner, yes, I'm uh, maybe 10 days to do this, and uh, it's sometimes hard, for yes. sure, sometimes it's really like, wow, it's here, and sometimes it's 
not like, where is it? I understand it's the beginning. Can I like lose tapas? Because before two days, I have a sense to touch someone, to do some like some reiki or something to some my friend, and then I do this. I, I'm not sure if I ask my soul, but it was like from here something. And do some reiki for him, and after I do this, I feel um, less energy inside me. This is like I lose, I lose tapas. Tapas is the act of the practice. If you are taking up this practice in a serious way, then you're a tapasvi, you're taking up the practice. Doing it is the tapas. The tapas shakti is both. It is the, the strength needed to do the tapas and it is the strength derived from the tapas. So you do tapas, you get tapas shakti. You use that tapas shakti, to do more tapas, you understand? Then again, you have tapas shakti, then you use that tapas shakti, you are even more in the tapas, in the action, in the practice. You do more of the practice, you get more strength, and that's how you build that energy, that jatha ragni, and you can lose it by touching somebody, yes. That is why many gurus won't let anybody touch them. You may have seen that in India, they'll say, no, you cannot touch, you cannot touch, because if, as a guru, you have to transmit to that many people the force, the shakti, so that they can take up a practice, if everybody touches you, then it depletes. Unless that is your work to, let's say, to hug people or to, you know, bless people physically, some people do that, then it is different. So you have to hold the jatha ragni. It's a physical thing. The energy is physical, it's material in nature. It's not a concept. It's material. Thank you very much.